Pharyngitis is the inflammation of the mucous membranes of the oropharynx. In most cases, the cause is an infection, either bacterial or viral. Other causes are less common. Almost 80% of pharyngitis is caused by viral infection. These viruses are, predominantly rhinovirus, influenza, adenovirus, coronavirus, and parainfluenza. The most common bacterial infection is group A beta hemolytic streptococci, which causes 5% to 36% of cases of acute pharyngitis. Most cases of pharyngitis occur in children under the age of 5. Adults can also develop the disorder but at a lower rate. Symptoms include fever, tonsillar exudates, painful cervical adenopathy, pharyngeal erythema, and ear pain. Uncomplicated infectious pharyngitis, both viral and bacterial, typically is self-limited to 5 to 7 days, is not progressive, and airway obstruction, strider, is not common. Associated symptoms for viral pharyngitis often include coughing, rhinorrhea, conjunctivitis, headache, and a rash. If it is caused by bacterial infections lack of cough and rhinorrhea. And is associated with fever, tonsillar exudates, and cervical adenopathy. Enlarged lymph nodes on the neck. Pharyngitis due to the Epstein-Barr virus, otherwise known as infectious mononucleosis, can cause headaches, fever, tonsillar hypertrophy, lymphocytosis, and atypical lymphocytes. Myalgia and fatigue are commonly reported symptoms. Infectious mononucleosis is small part of pharyngitis. Patients can have persistent lymphadenopathy and fatigue for up to three weeks. It is important to assess for hepatomegaly or splenomegaly. The center score is one of the most commonly used for assessment of a beta-hemolytic streptococci infection. Tonsillar exudate. Tender anterior cervical left mento anterior. History of fever. Absence of a cough. One point for each. If zero to one, no testing or antibiotics. In case of four points, no testing, empiric antibiotics are used. Two to three points means further testing required. Such as rapid antigen test. This test more likely in 5 to 15 years of age and not valid under 3 years old. Bacterial pharyngitis caused by streptococcus can occur among adults also. For example, female, 23-year-old. 3-day history of sore throat and odinophagia, difficulty and painful swallowing. She denies having a cough or runny nose but has been febrile with intermittent chills. No recent traveling history. She had similar symptoms a few years ago, which were treated with antibiotics. Fever in the absence of cough and rhinorrhea, pharyngitis is suspected. Antibiotics for pharyngitis are usually used for patients with group A beta-hemolytic streptococcal pharyngitis. Antibiotics should only be used for group A beta-hemolytic streptococci positive patients, particularly if they are children. Treatment options for group A beta-hemolytic streptococcal pharyngitis include oral treatment with penicillin V or oral amoxicillin. Cephalosporins, macrolides, and clindamycin may also be used. Intramuscular penicillin is also a treatment option. Resistance may develop during treatment with azithromycin and clarithromycin, and it is not considered a first-line antibiotic for this indication. In patients with a mild penicillin allergy, cephalosporins can be used. Prognosis. In general, the prognosis for pharyngitis is good as both viral and bacterial infections are typically self-limited to 5 to 7 days. In developing countries, over 20 million individuals are affected by group A streptococci and develop acute rheumatic fever. This disorder is the leading cause of death in young people. Mortality from pharyngitis is rare but does occur if the airway is compromised.